gente, começando mais um vídeo de Tales of Chile 2. Vamos fazer mais um capítulo da Elise. Capítulo 3 da Elise. Hey! Did you hear the big news? The Chancellor of Olympias is here in the Rond. She's touring Rize Maxia on a campaign to improve cross-cultural relations. I was quite surprised myself. After all, she's only just recovered from the ESS balloon incident. I sure hope she has a good time here. Just one bite of works cooking ought to do it. Now speak of the devil. We've got an emergency. The Chancellor's group has been attacked. What? If only Sonya had stayed at the lodge. Warwick, calm down and tell me exactly what happened. The Chancellor had planned to eat at the Lodge, but then a group of Olympians burst in and grabbed her. They spirited the Chancellor away and said they'd kill her if we didn't meet their demands. Exodus is behind the attack. They're demanding freedom for members captured in the Palloon incident. Why won't they just give up already? We have to save the Chancellor. We spotted them fleeing into the old Vakal mine. We're in a race against time here. Chancellor, thank goodness you're safe. It's you. I somehow managed to slip away in the confusion. But my colleagues weren't so lucky. They're still being held. I understand the culprits are Olympian? I'm afraid so. Remnants of Exodus. I see. Chancellor, please allow the Rize Maxian government to handle the rescue. May I ask, why do you have children with you? Team? Wait, don't tell me you intend to involve them in the rescue operation. Hey you, don't tell Elise short! I am fully capable of helping. The young miss is a gifted spirit arts user. She is a great asset to Rizemaxia. Elise. Well, it is not my place to second-guess you. But these terrorists place little value on human life. Please be careful. We will. Don't worry. Wahey! Incoming tech! Wahey! Incoming tech! Wait! Wahey! That's the ringtone that I gave to Luna! Wahey! Incoming tech! Wahey! Incoming tech! No way! Incoming tech! Wahey! Incoming tech! Elise's pen pal is Chancellor Marcia? <gasps> Surprise, uh, King man. Gaius. Yes, Your Majesty. I am safe. I'd like you to know that your Prime Minister Ilbert is about to give those terrorists what for. Are you okay with this plan? Yes. Leave everything to us. <laughs> Chancellor Marcia? No, we can't be. Chegamos. Get us some reinforcements already. Marcia may have given us the slip, but we still have hostages. They hung up. Damn it! There goes our plan B. This is not good. Not good at all. Keep it together. I'm trying, but how long can we keep this up? If we don't figure this out, our captured comrades are as good as dead. They're comrades? Shall we? 
We'll be taking those hostages, thank you. Over our dead bodies! We must claim victory. They Be careful! All youngsters? Yes. They don't look like bad people to me at all! You've lost. Do the noble thing and release your hostages. Damn it. We failed. Why would you do this? Our comrades. They're going to be executed. We couldn't just let them die. You did it for your friends? And we lost. Please, make our deaths quick, I beg of you. No one's going to kill them. Right, Rowan? Rowan's the Prime Minister of Riza Maxia. He won't let your friends die. I wish! It doesn't matter anyway. We'll be tried in Olympias. Huh? Olympians must face justice in Olympias. And Rize Maxians in Rize Maxia. Those are the terms of our treaty. Neither nation has any jurisdiction in the other's territory. And the penalty for terrorism in Olympias is execution. But Chancellor Marcia would never allow that. She's gentle and kind. Yeah, don't worry. C can you promise we'll be spared if we decide to surrender? We shall negotiate for you. Don't you worry. I know she'll understand. You guys were only looking out for your buddies. <laughs> I doubt she'll give squat about that, but I don't have any fight left in me. We surrender. are human beings just like us. They care about each other. Lou, uh, I mean, Chancellor Marcia will understand that. In any case, let's head back and meet with the Chancellor. Negotiation with Chancellor Marcia. Hmm. Oh, here come you, put his grill. You managed to trounce the terrorists. Elise, was it? Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine, Madam Chancellor. That's a relief. But I, uh, I wanted to know. Madam Chancellor. Dispose of the surviving terrorists. At once, ma'am. Dispose? What do you mean by dispose? A matter of Olympian justice, child. None of your concern. Oh, we're concerned! They were only trying to save their friends! <sighs> Chancellor Marcia, the terrorists surrendered of their own accord. I would think that merits leniency. Let's be clear. Is this an official request from the Prime Minister of Riza Maxia? Because such a request would certainly raise serious diplomatic issues. N no, Madam Chancellor. That was not my intent. 
Laws exist for a reason. Ignore one, and we risk a descent into chaos. The government of Olympias does not show leniency to terrorists. But you're the Chancellor! You can do whatever you want! It is precisely because I'm the Chancellor that I must ensure justice is served. This is your cue to say something, Beardo! Unfortunately, showing leniency to terrorists often only leads to more acts of terror. History has shown this to be true. But I made a promise to the Exodus members. A childish decision. <sighs> Chancellor, we're ready. All this excitement has pushed us way behind schedule. We must be going. This is horrible! How can you be so cold-hearted? Why? Why wouldn't you listen to me? Was I wrong? Oh, my head's all fuzzy. <sighs> Luna, I thought we were friends. <laughs>